hey, if you're watching this, I'm, it's not that I don't like you. I really actually would rather be there with you today than, than what I've got to do today. Um, and thanks for tuning in. Um, you should, if the, if the sub hasn't given you this handout, ask for this handout. Um, I'm making the video now, so there's no link there. Um, but you should get an email from me, like it says, that'll have the link in here. Um, and that way, obviously, I'm so stupid. You sh you're watching this, so you probably already have looked at the email. You know, it's just because I haven't sent it yet. Um, so uh, when you, you can either use the link in the email, you can actually Google this. If you just put in P-H-E-T, Masses and Springs, you'll get to this website. You're going to hit the little play arrow, and uh, you're going to go to the lab on this, and you're going to click that, and it opens up this. And so just slow, the, you know, I talk slow and talk too much, so you, it's probably slow enough, but you don't need this energy graph because we haven't talked about energy yet. And um, just notice different things here, this this damping thing that's changed. I'd leave Earth's gravity the same so that it's behaving like it does on Earth. Notice there's a little ruler here you can pull out, a timer. We're going to be using those. And this really shouldn't take too long. Um, the reason for the video is so that um, you can just get the gist of this. Um, I'm going to ask you to adjust the mass to some unique value um, that's different than, say, the person next to you if you're working at a table. Um, and so, you know, notice that you can hang this on here and it bobs up and down. We want, th this is pretty much a replication of the lab we did in real life, and just to kind of reinforce these ideas, and I thought that would make it easier. Um, and so, the bobbing part we don't want to do yet. We're going to do this in the same order we did the lab last week. You can add extra damping to slow that down. Damping is another word for friction here, so that stops it from bobbing. But I'm going to take that off for now. The thing that you want to do is pull out this movable line so you can measure it. Remember I put that little piece of paint on there. So decide where you want to measure it. Say if it's from the bottom where you hang the mass, that would be something I want to pay attention to. So when I hang this here, it goes down, right? So we are measuring the elongation. And so notice when the damping is up like that, the bobbing stops. So now I'm going to measure to the bottom of the line. I'm going to pull the ruler out and measure from that red dashed line to the bottom of that line. And that's what I want you to do. This ruler is in centimeters. And when you go to the sheet, right? You're going to, the mass that you use, you're going to write that in here. You're going to convert the mass to newtons. That's a two-step process. The grams has to be converted to kilograms, and then you multiply it by 9.81. So for the mass that I used, right, that would be 0.128 kilograms, and I would multiply that by 9.81 to get it into newtons. So you're going to write that number down there for your mass, that you're going to measure that in centimeters and write that down with a little virtual ruler, and then convert that centimeter reading to meters. Then, rather than plot a graph this time, I'm trying to keep this imp simple. You know, I know that, you know, I certainly want you to get this done easily before the bell rings. So you're going to take the f weight force here in this column and divide it by the elongation in meter. So newtons per meter, we want to get that in newtons per meter. I'm just asking you to do this twice. Right, so you're going to go back to the, I'm going to go back to the animation here and show you. You're going to take that mass off, change it to something else, put it on there, and measure that new length. And you're going to do the same thing, okay? But just twice. So this isn't like, like uh, you know, we don't have to call uh, the Geneva Convention together to decide whether this is cruel and unusual punishment. I don't think it's too bad. Of course, physics teacher, right? He's not going to think it's too bad. All right, so second part of the lab. Let's go back to the sheet here. So you're going to average those two to get the, your average K value for you, and you're doing this on your own. You can certainly, you know, talk to each other a little bit, but do this on your own. I want to see unique values, so try. I'm not looking for you guys to have one person do this and everybody copy over um, the data that one person gets on their computer, so do this on, on your own. For the simple harmonic motion, you don't need to use the same mass. So if you use the same mass, great, but if you don't have to use the same mass that you used in part one, um, you're going to convert that to kilograms, and I need to show you how to get the period for this because it's a little tricky. It's not that easy. Uh, unlike the lab, I don't want you to have to um, uh, do 30 counts, right? So we need to get rid of the damping here so it actually bounces. So notice I move that slider over so there's no damping. I don't need this anymore either, so I can just uh, unclick that so it's not there. And now the thing's bobbing up and down, right? And so we don't want a ruler anymore. We want the timer. but you know, just because I, you can do this, it's an animation, you can do it pretty precisely. Look at this little button down here. You can go slow. And watch, this is not me timing it. I just want to show you that it slows not just this down, it slows the timer down. So you can pretty easily just measure one um, cycle. This is how you reset the timer. So you're not going to use your phone for this. Um, and you're going to get it going. 
and then when you see it get to the top or the bottom bottom right you hit start and um, I don't want you using the video with my mass here so I'm gonna pause this but you want it to get down to the bottom again and just make sure that you've got it pretty right if you missed it doesn't it's not hard to take a second trial and so for going back to the sheet here I would put in my 209 put, change it to 0 0.209 for kilograms right and then put in the period I measure and then this is the trickiest part of this um, for folks that did the calculations on the lab last week um, this and I did the I did the work of changing this equation. I hope I did it right. Right, we're assigned finding the k. I was actually checking k, and the yeah, the t would go onto the bottom. We'd have to square, and then the m would be there. So I think that's right. So you're going to take the mass in kilograms, right, and then this is the tricky part so if you didn't do this calculation last week you might want to check with it you should be getting a k value close to that k value because you didn't change your spring so make sure that you're when you're doing the squares this whole quantity is getting squared and uh, make sure that you're using the mass in kilograms here when you put it in for the m and um, you're going to get two different k values and I want you to do percent difference between the k value here and the k value there and that's it right so this you know between watching this video and getting it done it shouldn't take too long I thank you for uh, your attention and uh, I'll see you tomorrow I hope okay bye